Have you ever been taking a shower and thought, oh my gosh, all this water is just going to waste. And then thought, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful outside. I wish I had an outdoor shower. And I thought, oh crap, I'm not a plumber. How the heck do I get hot water outside? And then thought, solar heated shower. Listen up guys, I'm about to teach you how to make a solar heated outdoor shower. You see the steam? Oh my God. Oh, it's burning my finger. Ouch. Here's the setup. So starting out, I put a little splitter right here so that we still have a normal hose to water stuff. And then you can also send it off to the shower. We have the shower hose running. We got the water running through the hose. Doot, 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 doot. Goes here, goes here. We have a split, which I will tell you about in a moment. And the cold water continues, continues. Goes up to, oh, what's that? This right here is what you call a solar collector. Cold water comes in. Woo, winds around, comes out, scalding hot. Then the hot water comes back down. Do, 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 do. Comes up, 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 up. Boom, boom, to the shower head. And right here, we got controls. We got the hot and we got the cold. The cold is coming in from that split I told you about. There it is. So cold water that comes, woo. Half the cold goes up to the solar collector, and half the cold comes up to this side, which is actually a splitter, but I put an adapter here to adapt it into a combiner. And so it's actually so hot, you need to combine cold with it most of the time to make it like, so it doesn't burn you. And I built this nice little stepping stone situation. Privacy, and the water runs over here. Water's our grapes, water's our persimmon. It's a beautiful system. And all this material cost me less than $100. You can do it too. Let me show you how. The first step I would do is figure out where you're gonna put your solar collector. Initially I put mine up here, but then somehow it inched its way off and like three days later it slid off the roof and destroyed itself. It was horrible, I had to build a new one. So I recommend like find the most level roof you can, or maybe you could just put it on the ground or I don't know. The main thing you need to be concerned about is finding a sunny spot for it to heat up your water really well. So I'd say the next step after you figure out what spot you want to put it is to figure out how big you want it to be. So here I just went with this size because I couldn't really go much bigger without it falling off. But really this like four foot by four foot I went with is more than enough for me. It's about 88 degrees outside right now, pretty hot. And let's see, measure the temperature. This thing is 130 degrees. It's pretty damn hot. Dog break! Hey! If you go with a four foot by four foot, I ended up needing about 300 feet of hosing to wind it and get all of it there. But if your collector is closer to your shower and your shower is closer to your spigot, you might not need as much. So once you figure out how much hosing you need, Go buy that stuff. If you want a splitter for still using your hose, you'll want to buy that. You'll also want to buy three of these hose to irrigation tubing adapters. One for here, and one for here, and one for here. Um, and you'll also want another splitter, AKA in this case, it's combining, so a combiner. And you'll also need a little male to male adapter here if you want it to connect to a hose nozzle, I guess it's called. Also, another thing you might want, I got some Dr. Bronner's that's nice and good for the environment so we don't worry about killing all these plants. So the first time I made my solar collector, the time when it slid off the roof, I just duct taped all the hose together and it was a real pain in the butt and it was really hard to get on the roof and when it fell off, it destroyed itself. Um, so I think an easier way to do it is get yourself some plywood, and then it's really easy. I also got myself some service entrance staples, which just happened to be the perfect width of the irrigation tubing. And then you can just boom, 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 staple that thing on there, it's like super secure. Super easy to like lift that thing up onto your roof once you finish making it. So go buy yourself 
some uh, plywood. Or, I actually found this plywood on the side of the freeway, so I might be able to get some free plywood. And that's it. Just go buy it. Then just build it. Here's a video of how I wound up my collector. It takes a little bit of technique I learned the first time. If you're not careful, it'll like turn into a crazy kinked up mess. So you gotta be really methodical with how you unwind it and wind it up. Good luck. All right, and the rest is pretty simple. Just take the hose, cut it to length with scissors, shove it in by hand to the pieces, and you can check out this diagram if you ever get confused on how everything goes together. You're done! It's time to use it! Just got back from the beach. Gotta rinse off my sand. Switch this onto the shower mode. It's warm already. It's already warm. This is actually like too hot right now. Hold on. Good stuff.